Good evening. I think too many people go to bed straight from working, having the laptop or the phone and having all that brightness in the eyes so it makes it difficult to settle down and go to sleep, having your mind going, lots of anxiety. I want to see what happens if we take a few minutes to calm down, relax, unwind, and prepare for a nice sleep. I wonder if we wouldn't wake up with as much jaw tightness or that low back spasm or something or other. So let's take a few moments now to really let ourselves relax and wash off the day and get ready for bed. Make sure the lights are dim and that you're nice and comfortable and we're just gonna start with some deep breaths. You can put one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly, and just feel that air fall in and out, in through the nose and out through the nose. Expanding all around 360 degrees, and then long exhale to let it go. Again, inhale. Feel the belly expand, then the chest. And the chest relaxes on the exhale, and then the belly. One more time. See if you can take even more time with this. Slowly inhale. and a slow, long exhale. Make sure you get all the air out of the lungs. And then the new breath just falls in. Let's start by just relaxing our bellies, help us digest dinner if you ate recently, and just calm our nerves. That belly tends to hold so much. So I really like this technique called sun and moon. You've got one hand making the sun. Now you want to go clockwise. That's the direction of peristalsis, of digestion. And then you have another hand that goes with it, but then crosses over. So if you see my right hand is making a sun, and my left hand is making a moon. It's a crescent because then it passes over. If that's too weird and confusing, you can just you can just use both hands and give yourself a belly rub. Or you can get creative. Whatever, but it is good to go clockwise and just enjoy that belly massage. Not too deep. Go easy. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, and just feel yourself be soothed. And when you've had enough of that, let's relax our shoulders that probably are up to our ears by now in the day. So go ahead and actually lift them up higher. I know, it's crazy. Squeeze them up as hard hard as you can. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, you're going to let them go. <sighs> Just like that. Shake it out. Roll it out. It's a wonderful trick for getting those shoulders to relax down. Again, inhale, squeeze them up. <sighs> exhale, release. One more time, even tighter, tight as you can. Wear them like earrings. And a big let go. And rolling. So one of the most relaxing things, I think, is scalp massage, to have our heads massaged, especially if you have headaches or jaw tightness. So I'm just moving the cranial fascia along. I'm making big circles on my scalp. And you can see that I'm moving the whole tissue there. I'm not scrubbing over the scalp or shampooing, so to speak. I'm actually lifting the tissue. Go and do that 
enough pressure to actually move the tissue because it feels really good and it's a great fascial release. You can close your eyes if that feels good. And I'm just exploring all areas of the scalp. Find where it feels good and massage there for a while. And then find where it feels tender. And I just found, ooh, I just found an intense place. <laughs> so I'm going to apply the right amount of pressure so that it feels like a good release. It's not pain. It could be a little intense, but it's not pain. And I just breathe into that. And I exhale out the tension and see if I can't get that area to release a little bit, maybe do some circles. So that's what you'll do. You'll find those little pockets of tension, those little tender spots. And then you just rest there for a bit and breathe into it, apply some pressure. That's good for you. Go forward here, really explore every inch of the scalp. You can do the base of the skull. And something nice too, if you have long hair or enough hair to get your fingers through and actually pull. So I'm pulling upwards and it's giving my scalp and my face a stretch and a release. And you can pull any directions here. You can pull out behind you. You can pull to one side or the other. Wherever that feels good, you can pull downward. Just weave your hands in between and give it a nice pull and just relax and enjoy that sensation. It feels really good. And if you don't have enough hair to do this, then just keep doing your scalp massage. I have too much hair because I have not had a haircut since they first announced quarantine for COVID-19. So uh, I have not been to a salon in a long time. <laughs> but it's good for doing that exercise. <laughs> so let your arms relax a little bit, roll your shoulders. And then we'll just go and massage around the ear. So right around, you can go even behind the flap of the ear. That feels really nice right on the mastoid process. It's that bump behind. Deep breaths, relaxing. Letting go, putting away the day. Getting ready for a good night's sleep. And after this, it'll feel so good to stretch out and nuzzle down. Let's take our scissor fingers. So you could do it this way, or you can do it this way. I like this. And you're gonna put your ear right between those fingers. And then you're going to press, apply some pressure, up and down, both sides at the same time. Up and down. Oh, that feels so good. Releases the jaw and relaxes the head. Do that several times. And let's release the jaw some more because for those of you who tend to clench or grind your teeth at night, sometimes that could really cause a lot of jaw pain and tightness in the morning. So what if we relax the jaw before bed? It's an experiment. Let's see if you don't grind less or clench less and have less discomfort in the morning. So. Here are the cheekbones. You're gonna go right under. You're going to hook the tissue in and up and flatten your hands and just let the jaw drop open as you release. So gravity is going to take my hands down. I'm not gonna pull. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just relaxing my arms and letting gravity take it as my jaw hangs on a hinge. Don't laugh at me. It looks pretty silly. <laughs> just like this.
Make sure you're breathing. Really good. Take it all the way down to the chin. And then let's give that TMJ some massage. Right in front of the ear, if you're not sure where it is, bite a couple times and you'll feel it pop out. Nice and gentle because it's right on the joint. Mm. Feel your mind relax. Feel everything soften. We can move up to the temples, which always feels so good. Great for headaches. Just wherever it feels good, you can go up or down or around. But there are usually some pretty tender points in there, so you can hold static pressure to release them, or you can go ahead and do your circles. And breathe in and out deeply. And when you're ready, Find the bridge of the nose, go on either side, right by the eyes. Really carefully, you're going to press in towards each other, so sort of squeezing the bridge of the nose, and then upwards towards the forehead. Real gentle here. So you're going in and up, and you'll feel it. You'll feel if you have it, because it feels really good. <laughs> You might have to play around with the placement a couple times, but you're squeezing the top bridge of the nose, pressing together and pressing up. Kind of a, a sinus release here, but it's great for alleviating tension. And just enjoy that, breathe into it. Mm. I wonder if this would help snoring too. It just occurred to me, I don't know. We'll need to do a little pilot study. Hmm. Another couple breaths. You can let your eyes close. Or you can keep them open, but just soft, a soft glance. So good. And then let's go to that third eye area between the eyebrows. That always feels so good. And just press in there. You can, again, just have static pressure or you can do some circles if you want to. I like to just hold that area. Feel it make your head sleepy. Relaxed and sleepy. Feel yourself melt. That's what this spot does to me. It sort of melts my body. Another breath here. And we'll finish with a brush down of the whole face. Oh, let's brush it off. Roll the shoulders. And I hope that you have a very good night's sleep and feel great in the morning. If you do, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for a whole lot more, and comment below. Let me know how your night went. Let me know how your morning was. Let me know any differences you noticed. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.